It's a game I thought we played very well. I thought the way we ended the first half and uh, a little bit in the middle of the second half we got sluggish. Um, and again, I think when you have a double digit lead and, and some things like that, you never want them to relax a little bit, but I think there was a little bit of relaxing and a couple times we kind of needed to refocus guys so that they could you know, continue to improve and continue to play the way, the way we need to play um, if we're going to compete for a Northeast Conference Championship. Uh, I mean, obviously he shot the ball very well, you know, uh, and that's something that he can do in his sleep. And we need him to continue to do the other things well. Rebound the ball, defend the ball, jump to the ball, be in a stance. You know, I thought his defense at the start of the second half um, wasn't up to snuff, wasn't, wasn't up to a championship level. And so we talked about it, and uh, we'll watch it tomorrow, and we'll show him what we mean, and hopefully he'll learn from that. But, yeah, I mean, obviously his ability to come off screens and make shots his ability to constantly be a threat and put pressure on the opposing defense, uh, it's invaluable because it not only um, opens up opportunities for other guys, you know, as a coach, sometimes it makes it easy to call plays when you know that he can come off and, and make a shot. Andy, talk a little bit about Russell. He didn't score for a long time, yet he's on the boards. You know, helping other ways. Uh, yeah, I think that... Uh, you know, I said it to you the other day. Russell's one of our most intelligent players in terms of basketball IQ, and I think he understands what it takes to win games and and what his role can be on any given night. And you know, on a night where you have Karan shooting the way that he did, you know, Velton gets double digits, Liza gets double digits, um, Karan Williams gets eight, and he gets nine, but he still has such a positive impact on the game because he has nine rebounds and in only 20 minutes, and you know, he communicates well on defense and he does things that little things that help you win basketball games. And, um, you know, I think you're going to continue to see more and more of that. Like at Mount St. Mary's, he was one for nine, but he had 11 rebounds. He, he claims he, has thir he had 13, and they shorted him on two rebounds. But, um, you know, and he had the game-winning, basically the game-winning tip that Elijah tracked down. You know, so even without him scoring the basketball, he can still affect, it, affect the game in a positive way and help us win. Uh, Talk a little bit about a lack in, in maybe focus if for some reason. Can you kind of hit on that? Well, uh, we, we had struggled prior to the Mount game. Um, we've been down eight points or more in like the previous six games to start the game. So that was a big point of emphasis, starting better, getting off to a great start. We did a pretty good job of that amount. We did a good job of it tonight with an 8-0 run to start the game. Um, you know, we have to jump on teams. We have to be more aggressive when we come out. And then we have to carry that forward for 40 minutes. Uh, and I think, you know, again, it's kind of been our MO this year. You know, we haven't put very many winning streaks together at all. This is our first winning streak. Two games, I guess, is a streak, Paul. Yeah, one's not. One's not. Um, and we have to continue to, to, to have that desire to get better and desire to finish teams out. Um, Again, with, I think, some of our youth and some of our inexperience and even some of our guys that do have experience, they don't always understand that every possession matters and every possession is important. And it drives me crazy because the number of games we've lost by five points or less that have come down to a possession or two that we've won or lost, it should be really fresh in our minds that every possession is important. How did the uh, full court press in the second half <coughs> Uh, I thought we did a good job breaking it, actually. Anyway, I thought we did a very good job looking down the floor. We had some opportunities um, to score off of it. We had some, probably some other opportunities where we could have scored where, you know, Gary pulled it out and, and ran some clock, which is the right decision with, you know, four and a half minutes to go in a game and you're up 15 plus. Uh, so I thought we did a good job of handling it. Again, when you have Velton, Cron, Gary, Anthony Myers, you know, Yan, Russell, guys that can make good decisions, that can look down the floor, um, you know, we're a hard team to press at times. And so, when we passed the ball down the floor, we got great opportunities. The one or two times we tried to dribble through the press, I think Velton had a turnover one time on it and uh, someone else had a turnover on it. But, you know, when we looked down the floor and threw it down the floor, it was great. Is there anything tonight that you know you're going to see again throughout the year that, that you need to get better at? Uh, in terms of what our opponents are going to do to us? Right. <laughs> well, I mean, again, I thought they in the second half, you know, they had 14 offensive rebounds. 
you know, so obviously that's something that we have to, even though we out-rebounded them, they had too many offensive rebounds in the second half, I felt. And um, rebounding, as we've talked about all year, is going to be something that we got to do well in order to win games. First game back at home in 33 games, what's it like to be back? And we won, so it's great. Uh, if it was a road game and we won, that'd be great too. So, you know, I think it's more those guys are the ones who like to be at home, you know, for, for the coaching staff. And, and you know, we, we're preparing them the same way we would home or road. I think just sometimes their comfort level is much better when they're in the school center. Do you think that extended road trip kind of fits the game year that, that helps the guys as we uh, go down the stretch? Um, I don't know. I'll tell you at the end of the year. You know, I, it's, it remains to be seen. You know, I, I said to somebody yesterday that if – this season ends up being a successful one and, and we can, you know, compete for Northeast Conference Championship or go back to the NCAA tournament, you know, I'd probably point to that road trip as something that helped mature us, helped uh, shrink our learning curve a little bit because guys were put in some situations and guys faced some adversity on the road that maybe helped Yan Charles and Anthony Myers and those guys grow up a little bit. Well, when you bank one in at the end of the shot clock and then you make a 30-footer at the end of the shot clock, um, like Terrence Greer was one for six from three going into this game in eight games. And so he goes four for six. You know, you got to tip your cap to him, I guess. Um, he's been much more dangerous as a right-hand driver than he has as a three-point shooter. Now the next time we play him, we might have to make a little adjustment on some of the things that we do with him. But... You know, even the, the three that uh, Brian uh, Smith hit late, Velton had a great closeout on him, and it was deep. You know, I think out of the, the ten threes they made, you know, maybe three or four we could have taken away, um, and probably three or four I'm not sure they make again. You've been emphasizing the free throw shooting about the last four or five games, that's what Yep. How gratifying is it to you as a coach that they seem to learn something? Yeah, I, I mean, um, very gratifying, obviously. <coughs> you know, I think that we have a team that can create some mismatches for people and can get into the lane and, and can get fouled. And so I think we have to, when we get there, take advantage of that. There were games earlier this year where we, we would get fouled and then, you know, not take advantage. And now that becomes an empty trip for us. And it's like you might as well have <coughs> turned the ball over. And so uh, we've worked on it a lot. We've shot a lot of free throws in, in practice in the last, you know, two, three weeks. Yeah. 